Hi guys, I'm gonna be talking about MAV Nutrition Prebiotic Plus Probiotic. So I ended up giving this probiotic one out of five stars, so definitely don't like it. Um, this is like the perfect example of more isn't always better. This kind of goes overboard in like a lot of different areas and it really, really just did not work well with me. So I'll get to that in just a sec throughout the review. Um, but you can buy it. I bought it on the Max or MavNutrition.com website, and the bottle itself is $23. And then um, after taxes and shipping, it ends up being like $27.94. So it works out to about $0.46 cents a day to take this, which is very cheap, a lot cheaper than your average probiotic, which that should have been my first you know, question right there, red flag. Um, but you do get 60 vegetable, vegetable capsules and you're going to take one a day and it says preferably with a meal. And these capsules, I'll show you guys. Let's see here. So here is the capsule. Nothing too crazy. I feel like it's a little bit bigger. I feel like it would get stuck in my throat sometimes. So that wasn't very fun. Um, but yeah, so there's that and it says, um, you can refrigerate it to help keep the potency up. And just a random little note, so this has a, um, you text this number to get a free bottle, and I did, and it's like the, it's not working. So I thought that was kind of weird, like don't put a sticker on there if it's not gonna actually be true. So I thought that was kind of silly. Um, but for the ingredients, so there are 20 billion, um, CFU and it comes in, um, let's see here, seven different strains. And I do like one of the strains in here. Um, it is L. rhamnosus. And so that's supposed to help boost immune function. It's also supposed to help um, decrease, decrease inflammation, help with allergies, um, can help with IBS and leaky gut, skin, leaky gut syndrome and also some skin conditions. So there's a lot going for that one. But it also has um, l casei which I don't like that strain very much because it's known to be pretty aggressive and it can overrun other good bacteria. Um, also, it doesn't break down how many um, CFU per strain it is. It's just a blend, so it just lists them all out. Um, and the other big thing with this is that it has inulin, so that's the probiotic, which usually I really like having that in there, but it has 250 milligrams, which Again, too much of it can really lead to um, gas, bloating, severe pain, and I got all of those because um, gas is a byproduct of this because it kind of ferments in your belly. So if you already have belly problems and then you have too much inulin or too much fiber or prebiotics, you can kind of have bad side effects. So just a lot going on. And so for the allergy concerns, there's nothing listed, like nothing at all. Like I actually like when they at least say like, hey, it's gluten-free just to be safe or whatever. Like there's just nothing listed. Um, so I think it's allergy friendly, but it just doesn't say anything. Um, it does say though that it is produced in a facility with all your common allergens. So it's not, I wouldn't say it's the most allergy friendly. So keep that in mind. And then for um, the side effects, so I definitely saw side effects with this. It was just icky, bloated, like just did not feel well at all. And unfortunately, like it didn't really ever go away. Like normally you can kind of see those, that's kind of common with probiotics, especially this being so potent at 20 billion. Um, it just never got better. And I never saw any relief with my IBS symptoms. And I also saw online some other people had like their skin broke out like really, really bad. And some again had like really bad diarrhea, really bad constipation, or like 50-50. So like I wasn't the only one that had some pretty not fun side effects that just literally didn't go away. And that's like, yeah, that's a no-go for me. And to make matters worse, I could not find a guarantee for this product on the um, Mav Nutrition website. So another bummer, because I think I'm just out and like I had to go through some pain to get there. Um, so anyway, so I give this probiotic one out of five stars. Just too much of something can be bad and it's too many probiotics, too many prebiotics, too many side effects and not enough benefits and it's just, this is a total pass for me. So 
But if you guys have any other suggestions for probiotics, just drop them in a comment below and I'll test them out for you and you can get some more information. You can visit us at probioticsguide.com or on Facebook and Twitter.